change. Shinji's corpse is on the bed. There is nothing else. What happened here? There is no way I would know, but Sakura. Somehow I can tell that Sakura killed him. I can't think. Shinji's corpse, Sakura's whereabouts. It's only been half a day since I embraced Sakura. So how did it end up like this? Oh yeah, 誰かと思えばエミヤの個性がないか。よく来たと言いたいところだが、少しばかり遅かったようじゃな。I turn around at the sudden voice. <laughs> there is no one behind me. I know there is nobody in this house. Zouken's voice is echoing through the room, even though he's not here. Zouken, you, Sakura, did what? What did you do? You saw the story of the fallen mother who came back to her mother. It wasn't a matter of fighting for her life. But, um, the fallen mother is the case. She was a woman, but she was a woman who was a woman. <laughs> he laughs. I can't see the old Magus, but I'm sure he's laughing with a hideous face. Shinji's yakume? Oh, yo. Sakura was so keen to say that I was not a dragon. I was a child, and I was a child. I was a child, and I was a child. I was a child, and I was a child. I was a child, and I was a child. I was a child, and I was a child. I was a child, and I was a child. I was a child, and I was a child. このように絶望してもらわねばならなかったからのやはやこれはわしの過ちじゃあれの精神力を甘く見ておった簡単に決壊すると思ったがあれは決して自分から崩れはしないよもやあれがあそこまで我慢強く育つとは思わなんだ My nerves condense before I even understand what he's saying, I clench my right fist, open my magic circuit, and. Yeah, you're good, Yeba. One of you know, the other one. あとは見ているだけでよいあれは本能の赴くままに人を襲いその暴食ゆえに自滅するわしの仕事はそのあとということ I punch the wall with all my might I lash out at the darkness where the voice is coming from I unconsciously fill my hand with magical energy which is transmitted into the wall and sweeps the darkness from the room おおこれは怖い監視役にと残した虫どもが軒並み潰れおったわ。<笑>これではすぐに声すら届かなくなるな。うるせえ、出てこいゾウケ。ここでやつだけにしてやる。いやいや残念だがそういうわけにもいかん。マキリ五百年の宿願にようやく手が届いたのだ。ここでお主に殺されるわけにもいかんし。お主を仕留めるほど恩知らずでもないのでな恩知らずだとふざけるな誰がお前に尻尾を振った振ったとも。お主はあそこまでさくらを育ててくれたではないかあの娘に他者を欲するという感情を教え込んだのは他ならぬお主よそうわしは感謝しておるよエミアシロこたびの義はお主がいてこその成功だった。ゆえに殺し合わせる。お主には見事成長したあれの姿を見てもらわねばならんからの。そうけん。<笑>もはや誰にも止められん。兄を殺したあれは立ち止まることなどできん。アインツベルの聖杯。あの小娘が取り込んだアーチャーの魂を取り込み。門に至る鍵を奪うさすれば罪だ我がマキリの悲願第三法の再現がついに果たされるのみよ The third sorcery? What is that? The annoying laugh echoes through the room I Quickly go back home or I can't forgive Zouken 
Well, of course I can't forgive Zoken, but... Wait, didn't Zoken just say that Sakura wants to take Archer's soul? Ilya has Archer's soul, which means that Sakura is after Ilya, who is at home. So, yeah, we should return home as fast as possible. Hold on. Steal ein Sperns Holy Grail. I run. I don't care about the laughter. I'm sure he's watching me from a safe place. There is no time to let an old man's drivel get to me. So da, isongayoi emi ashiro. Sude ni Sakura wa kokka shite or Ilias feel o taraereba yoho shanaku nomi kudasu zo. I kick the ground hard enough to tear my legs off. Ilia, push there. It will take 20 minutes to get to my house even if I run full speed. I glare at the grey sky and run frantically back to Ilya. Interlude 14.4 The girl is looking up at the sky. The grey sunlight dulls her silver hair and red eyes. So, ne. Tell him about what? Ilya's field talks to herself. The Emir household is quiet. Shiro and Rin went to find Sakura. Ryder, naturally, is nowhere to be seen, leaving Ilya as the only one here. This is the fifth Holy Grail war in Fuyuki. The Holy Grail has been summoned into different places each time, but it has returned to the original site for this war. It's only natural. They use one of the gates located at the four compass points and move on to the next when one fails. The first was the Ryudo Temple. The second was the Tosaka household. The third was the church on top of the hill. The fourth was that burnt field. Then the summoning returns to the site of the first. The point of origin. The false utopia that sets the rules of the Holy Grail War. Ilya murmurs in disbelief. This is far away from the Einsperns' dearest wish. They have failed. The disaster that will be born is a far cry from, from what they wished for. And she couldn't possibly close it, even if she tried. Mato Sakura excels her in ability as the Holy Grail. Einsbern's Holy Grail cannot do anything to the gate opened by Makiri's Holy Grail. Mato Zoken thinks he opened the same gate, but in reality he opened a completely different one. The only ones aware of this are the Holy Grails, the girl and Mato Sakura. She looks up at the sky. The girl is wavering. She doesn't know whether to choose the role imposed on her or the desire born from within her. The result is the same. Regardless of whether she goes to the gate as the Holy Grail or runs away, she will die. Which is her true self. She asks the grey sky for an answer. That's why she doesn't notice. The person who came through the door with an I am home. Did she slip through the boundary field or did it not consider her a trespasser? Slowly. She moves from the living room to the yard without a sound, then reaches out to the girl sitting at the porch. The trespasser, Mato Sakura, stops her hand. She looks away from Ilya and to Tosakarin, who has been waiting for her in the yard. Everyone here knows it's no empty threat. Ilya's fear starts walking without showing any surprise. The girl walks to the edge of the yard as if to watch over the two's confrontation. So, 
初めからここで待っていたんですね姉さん私がイリアちゃんを誘いに来ると読んでたんだまあね私にはシローと違ってあんたを助ける理由がないものいよいよとなったらイリアをさらいに来るのは明白でしょそうでなくても一度前科があるんだからイリアを見張るのは当然よ Sakura's brows twitch at Shiro's name, showing unhappiness. She shows an undisguised hatred that would surprise anyone who knew her previous self. Hidoi na. Nei-san wa itsumo so. So yatte kimetsukete. Watashi o baka ni suru n desu. Jibun wa kirei da kara atte. Yogoreta watashi o mikudashite iru. Hontou ni iya na hito. ねえ、姉さん私そんなに悪い子ですか Her voice contains no emotion. The question alone should send a chill up anyone's spine. 当たり前じゃない。この家を出た時点で救いきれないよ、おバカよ。あんたはマトウサクラを守りたがってたやつを最後まで信じてやらなかったんだから。But Tuzakarin gives a firm reply. Sakura looks down, as if acknowledging the truth of her mistake. But... I... That's the best thing to say. Don't say anything. We're going to go outside. If you have an opinion, you need to ask them first. But you didn't go out there. I'm just going to 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 go out there. そんなことも守れないから他人にいいようにつけ込まれるのよあんたそうですね確かに今まではそうでしたけど姉さん私もう弱くなんてありませんこれからは姉さんが家にこもっていてください先輩は私が守りますから What is that? Her cold stare, the emitting ominous shadow. <laughs> Realizing that it's as she feared, Rin takes a step back. Not knowing that her hesitation is the last trigger that drives Mato Sakura. <laughs> it's too late when she clacks her tongue. No, it's not too late or anything. When Sakura reaches for Ilya's feel, it was already too late. So, you're not going to be able to get out of the way? Yes. You're not going to be able to get out of the way. You're not going to be able to get out of the way. Oh shit. The shadow dances. Many shades of darkness emerge from the ground below Sakura and engulf the yard. And from the shadow. Sakura, Anta. Oh shit. Emerges the swordsman who is contaminated in black. Black Saber obeys without a word. There is no doubt about it. What that shadow is. Tozakarin bites her lip, seeing what kind of fate awaits a servant swallowed by the mud. At that instant. <laughs> a merciless attack. A shadow with magical energy far surpassing that of Tozakarin is fired. She rolls as she lands. The fired shadow is on the same level as the black shadow. It will be the end if it touches her. If it even grazes her, it will stick to her skin, covering her in an instant. And after that, if Tosokarin is swallowed by the mud that even a servant cannot escape, she will be absorbed without hope of resistance. The black tentacles whip towards her in rapid succession. 
Uh, Rin realizes that the texts are not from the Black Shadow, but the magic Sakura possesses. That magic of Mato is to bind others. But Sakura is originally from the Tosaka family, a shadow user with an origin of the imaginary element, the imaginary number. Mato Sakura is able to em embody the Black Shadow to that degree because she has both of those attributes. <laughs> she is easily cornered. Their magical energy capacities are too unevenly matched. Sakura's magical energy is infinite. Her capacity reaches 100 million. Turin, whose capacity is a mere 300, Sakura is a monster. She controls both the Black Shadow and Saber, who has the greatest magical energy out of all the servants. Even a servant will not be able to match such a monstrous magus. She stares at what Sakura has become, gasping for breath. She has no chance of winning, and she cannot escape. It would be a different story if she had a source of magical energy like the Holy Grail, but she doesn't have such a thing. She suppresses her frustration by grumbling. Sakura points her hand at Rin without hesitation. There is no mercy. Sakura smiles, enjoying the absolute dominance. She, she smiles at her beloved sister. The result is as obvious as she says. Rin cannot get away from the shadow. Sakura can quickly cover the whole house with the shadow if she wishes. As Sakura slowly expands the extent of the shadow, Rin is defeated without being able to do anything. The black shadow covers Tosaka Rin. The gel-like mud tightly binds Rin's body, turning into numerous tongues to invade her magic circuit. She looks down at her helpless sister, wild breathing and heated cheeks. Her older sister is covered with heavy oil, exciting even Sakura, who is of the same sex. Her face is left uncovered, perhaps because Sakura wants to enjoy her pain. Rin swallows her contempt and glares back at Sakura. But that's only for a few seconds. The mud that stirs her body violates her internal organs. The gel-like shadow tightens around Tosakarin. The meal doesn't even last a second. <laughs> the last traces of magic fade from Tosakarin. That's the end. Head down and chest heaving, Rin has no power to resist. She has no way to fight back, but... We'll lose to Nei-san. It's a groundless assumption. The difference in their powers will never be overturned. But Sakura is firmly convinced that she will lose if they fight again. So she has to kill her here. Taking her magical energy and leaving her powerless isn't enough. She has to kill Rin here, just as Rin tried to do to her. She tries to convince herself as she opens her palms. The shadow doesn't extend. She trembles, gaze focused on her weakened sister, and... Sakura! The person she least wants to see catches up to her. Interlude out. Well, let's find out... Oh, we already know it, but let's find out anyway next time on Fate Stay Night. Thanks for watching. 
and have a nice day. Can I access the status screen now? No. Okay. Bye-bye.